Hey you guys, what's going on? Welcome to a rather random review of iOS 7, the newest integration of iOS or Apple's mobile operating system iOS. So starting right off on the lock screen, you can already see that it's quite different from past versions of iOS. You can now access Notification Center from the, I guess, lock screen. But you can also access a new feature in iOS 7, the Control Center. And with Control Center, you can edit your music controls. Just wait for the camera to focus. You have your music controls. You have AirDrop, which is another new feature that, yeah... You can access your AirPlay if you want to stream onto an Apple TV. And you have AirPlane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, and I'm guessing that's Rotation Lock toggles. As well as that, you also have a stopwatch. Oh, crud, my bed just went off. As well as that, you also have um, stopwatch and camera toggles. So, yeah, that's really all that's new on the lock screen, and then a completely new design. And so entering the iPad... As you can see, iOS 7 is a major iOS overall compared to past versions. Literally every app icon is different, and the way apps function is also really different. And also, er, going right like from the home screen, one thing to point out is infinite folders are now a thing. So you can scroll through folders. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, let's see... There is, inside the camera, it has been completely overhauled, which you can sort of notice here. You now have three options. You can choose from video, wait, just wait for it to focus, video, photo, or square. Square, I guess, is sort of Instagram optimized. I have my iPad against a wall right now, so that's why it looks so weird. So yeah, we have video, photo, and square. And then heading back out onto the home screen we have a bunch of new things to go over. The next new, like, sort of app that I found rather interesting was the way Maps looks now. So if we head into the Maps app, as you can see, it integrates a rather different looking design, although different is not always bad, especially not, especially in this case, I feel. So I have it on city mode right now, and as you can see, it's just really fluent and really smooth. And I feel like they've really made um, Apple Maps a little bit more detailed because that was people's big complaint about it was, oh, it's not detailed enough. Well, just look at it now. It's nice and detailed now. And buildings look really nice in 3D mode and just everything is really good and crisp on the iPad mini. I'm sure it looks just as nice and just as crisp on the full-size iPad, but I do not currently have one to test out on, so yeah. Um, let's see, more features. Inside settings, settings, if you go into the wallpaper settings, brightness and wallpaper, you can go into choose wallpaper, and there is a few new wallpapers for you to choose from. Under Apple wallpapers, you have dynamic and you have static. So now just to show you what the differences between these two are, if we click on dynamic, we have these really, really nice moving wallpapers. I like this feature a lot. I actually have it on my lock screen currently, so let me just power off my iPad. Bring it back up. And as you can see, the background moves ever so slowly, and it looks really good. So yeah, those are really the only new wallpapers other than a few new um, stills. You have the Galaxy one, which is sort of the official iOS 7 wallpaper, I presume. And that's really all I have to say about the new updates in iOS 7. Oh, yes. I forgot one thing, though, and that is the new Siri. So Siri's voice has been made more, I guess, better quality-wise. And you can also change her gender within the settings. So I will demonstrate that after I demonstrate what her new female voice sounds like. Then I guess I'll do the male voice afterwards. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and bring up Siri. Hello. Siri says hi back. How are you? I'm pretty good, Jared. So as you can see, her voice sounds a lot higher, I guess, quality-wise now. And she just sounds really, really nice on here. And she can also do image searches now. So now, 
Find images of iPhone 5. Here's what I found on the web. And you can also do Twitter searches, which is rather cool. So yeah, that's the like main change in Siri, is that you can now do Twitter and image searches. So heading back into settings, if we go to... where is it? I actually... oh yeah, right there, Siri... And now voice gender, we can go male. And now, if we boot up Siri, we should have a male voice. Hello. Hey. Holy crud, that sounds so cool. I actually haven't tried this yet. Let me just turn up the volume. How are you? I'm happy to be alive. That's good. Whatever I can do to help. What's the weather in New York City? Here's the weather for New York, New York, between today and Sunday. Alright. So the weather in New York City isn't looking too nice, but that is the basic gist of the new Siri things. So that's pretty cool. I might... yeah. So that's the new Siri in iOS 7. And that is a basic overview of this update. Oh, wait. One more thing. I know, I'm starting to sound like Apple here. But if we go into, where is it? Uh, I put it in my Apple Apps folder. Music. Just me turn my volume down so I don't get copyright strikes here. We now have this. iTunes Radio. So we can go into Listen. And it's basically exactly what it says right on the main screen, Radio Reimagined. So I already added some stations on my phone, and it seems to save them cross-device, which is rather nice. But as you can see, it adds, like, I guess, stations for really whatever music you would want to hear. Like, right here we have Music Heard at WWDC, and we can see the music controls up in the top. And yes... So we can switch to the next song if we wanted to. And we can just sort of switch through the songs easily, and it's rather nice. So if we wanted to go to, say, Beatles Radio, we could do that. And it takes us to that radio station. And it is it does sort of mix it with other um, artists, I guess, as well. So it's not just the artist you selected, but it's other artists that it sort of compiles in there and sounds similar and sort of recommended in a way. So yeah, that is iTunes Radio. And that's really all I have for you about iOS 7. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye.